It's a relationship that started several years ago when these two women met at Catholic Medical Center in Manchester after losing their legs. This whole thing changed my perspective and changed my outlook on life. When Emma Graham was 21, she had a tumor in her heart which burst. It went to my brain, my kidneys, and my legs. One of her legs had to be amputated. She now wears a prosthetic. Getting there took a lot of PT, a lot of patients, a lot of work. She met Nicole Lambert in outpatient rehab who lost her leg in a moped accident. Noelle started a foundation called Born to Run. She raises money to help others be able to afford prosthetics, something she did for Emma, who she gave a waterproof prosthetic to so she can swim in the ocean again. That was the one thing that got me through the ICU was knowing that I'd be back on the beach one day. <laughs> I'm really happy that I, me and Emma got to go through our experiences together. And I think it's a blessing to know these types of people that don't let certain things define who they are and don't let amputations or disabilities limit them. And I really look up to the people that strive to live their lives fully. Now Emma is paying it forward and volunteers her time at Spalding Rehab in Massachusetts. She says she wants to work with kids in a hospital setting who are battling the same things she went through. Socially and emotionally in the hospital, um, just adjust and cope with their illness or with the procedures, prepare them. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. In Charlestown, Massachusetts, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.